Apparently in New York City, if someone is squatting in your home, if you call the police, they will come and arrest you. Del, you're getting arrested right now? I'm being arrested. For what? For being, in my, house, for being in my own home. And in Seattle, Washington, even if the entire neighborhood knows about someone squatting in your house, the police will come and defend the squatter. This guy brought his, uh... Okay. All I'm trying to do is keep the peace. Okay, I'm just trying to keep the peace, man. Okay? That's all I'm trying to do. Which just opened a giant vigilante-sized hole as the Squatter Squad now offers eviction services. I'm going to do a video inspection so I know how much we got to clean up. There's a cease and desist order on this property. Okay, can I see that? Can I see that? Because I'm. And after the squatter sent them away, the squad got set up for a very long visit. We put a 24 hour notice okay, of inspection, and I have a power of attorney. So we can come in and do an inspection, and there's nothing illegal with that. No, well, the police are going to yeah, come Yeah, that's fine. Right. We're coming in. We got to go to court, though. Yeah. No, we, yeah. No. No. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Eventually, the police were called as they just witnessed the squatter squad do their inspection, and the squatters all eventually left. Stating a total of 12 people were in this home, both consuming and selling substances, as the San Fernando Valley Squatter Squad was a success, as they saved their client thousands of dollars in over two years fighting the squatters in court. As not only do they have a YouTube and Instagram account, but an actual website selling this service. And what a sad reality we live in now, where if you go off on a vacation and return to find six goons living in your home, your only hope to get it back is if you hire 12 bigger dudes to make them uncomfortable enough to actually leave. Because we essentially already had that system where when criminals take your stuff, there's an agency you can call to help recover your belongings. It was called the police department, but now, for whatever reason, the only thing your tax dollars provide is either criminal protection or handcuffs or you the homeowner. And I do understand this country has a huge homelessness issue, and squatter's rights, although an oxymoron, are there to prevent that. But with Biden's poorest border only getting worse, even though New York is building these huge camps to house them, they're still getting evicted in mass. There are hundreds upon thousands of men. We have met men that have wristbands, and their number is in the 19,000. But Mayor Adams put out a paper, and he put out an announcement saying that after these men have been in the shelter, 30 days is their limit. After 30 days, they will no longer be able to be housed. They will be put out on the streets, homeless. Which is especially concerning, as this guy is currently trending on TikTok. Una casa en June este. Stating in Spanish, he found a law that says if a house is not inhabited, we can seize it. Claiming his African friends have already taken seven houses, where they can actually sell it afterwards. But I honestly think this is the same guy, stating that his baby was born in America, so the US government will give her money, referring to the baby as his gold mine. So is this guy just an online troll rage baiting for clicks? In all honesty, probably. But at this point in time, why wouldn't we just assume he's one of the many paid operatives online that the Biden administration sends money to to help promote their narrative? And as absurd as that sounds, it's no worse than everything he's actually doing already. Because even though these claims of migrants coming in and stealing houses sounds insane, he's not the only one pointing out liberal cities' stupidity. This is how I got a free house in Portland, Oregon. So the first thing I did was find a vacant house that somebody was trying to rent. Forge some documents. This made it look like I had a lease agreement and I called the utility companies and had the utilities put in my name. When the owner showed up, I politely explained that this was my house now and they need to leave. So they call the police and I show them my lease agreement and the utility bills and they tell the owner that this is a civil matter and they've got to sue me. She lawyers up and tries to evict me. I can't afford a lawyer, so I call up a tenant advocacy group who gives me a lawyer that's 100% free and funded by taxpayers. So this lawyer fights on my behalf for months and months, really driving the owner crazy and costing her tens of thousands of dollars. Finally, the owner decided it would be cheaper to just give me a chunk of cash to leave rather than continue paying the lawyer. So she writes me a check for 10K and I move out. So I just got nine months of free rent in a house that otherwise would have cost me three grand a month plus a nice cash for keys check. So this couldn't have worked out any better. Thanks, Portland. Now, I don't quite think that guy is actually doing that, as this was just the video version of an image that went viral asking if that exact tactic would actually work. But if you look at what's already happening in New York City or Seattle, Washington, it actually is. And sadly, the only hope for justice we have is the Squatter Squad. So if you appreciate my concise, lighthearted commentary on the tragic status that is today's reality, hopefully I've earned your subscription, then go check out the video on how the vigilantes in Philly are finally taking back the city.